Good evening, ladies and gents. This is Tennyson E. Stead, writer and director of Quantum Theory, founding member of Eight Sided Films. And today I'd like to talk about despecializing Hollywood just a little bit. One of the conversations I <coughs> keep winding up having in particular with Hollywood creatives, but in general with people in the industry, is that they really want to move forward with their careers. They really want to do great things. They have a vision for where they want their career to go. And at the same time, they only really understand and are only really holding themselves responsible for one particular aspect of that career, whether it's the acting, whether it's sales or whatever the case. And the simple truth is that we have to be responsible for the totality of our vision for where the industry is supposed to go, okay? I want to direct and I want to write. I want to work with my actors, I want to write for my actors, and I want to, I want to direct them through the things that I write. That's, that's the, the fun part for me. And the producing and the film finance and the massive amounts of organization that go into my work are all part of that process. They're all things that I have to do to deliver on my vision. And it's not just a question of whether not doing those things would lead to failure, although it would. That's a big part of why I do them. It's not just that. It's the fact that the parts that I think are fun are the parts of this work that a whole lot of people think are fun. There's a lot of people in Hollywood who really believe down to their core that they're fantastic writers, screenwriters. And whether that's true or not is a debate that we can have based on our individual value systems, but they definitely I mean, almost everybody in Hollywood has a screenplay, and almost everybody in Hollywood believes that that screenplay is either the next Star Wars or the next Sideways. There's, there's, there's almost nobody who doesn't think that they have fantastic ideas or, or just fantastic creative contributions to make to the industry. Okay? And if everybody's running around explaining to everybody else how their creative contributions are their contributions to the industry and nobody wants to do the drudge work of putting productions together. And, and I want to be clear about something else. Nobody does want to do the drudge work, except for a crazy handful of people. Those people are, you know, just like everybody else in Hollywood, almost always unreliable to begin with. They're few and far between. And as a result, their services, even if they do them badly, <laughs> are going to be in very, very high demand because the work that they do sucks. And the truth is that those of us who devote ourselves to the craft of filmmaking or the craft of acting or whatever craft it might be, if we accept that it's someone else's job, for example, to step in as an agent and manager and sell our work and do the sales part of the work. If we accept that it's a producer's job to come in and manage the productions that our, that our screenplays or our performances yield, then all we have to contribute to the industry is the same thing everybody else is trying to contribute. And all that we have to show for ourselves is our claim versus their claim that we are going to be creative leaders as opposed to everybody else saying that they're going to be that, that next creative leader. In truth, the only thing that's actually going to establish us in a position of creative dominance is production after production of work, its results. And the only way to achieve those results, until we're in such high demand, that our creative dominance is undisputed is to go ahead and do the work of putting those productions together. We don't have anything unique to offer Hollywood unless we're always doing the work. And as a very important and often repeated, as a, the, at least on the eight-sided blog, subset of, of this argument, a big part of the work is the practice of our craft to begin with. If we're not always acting, if we're not always you know, directing, if we're not always writing, then we're not going to be good actors, directors, and writers. It's not possible. It takes 20 years of nonstop work. And if nobody's out there 
looking for directors and actors and writers because there are already so many just wandering around thinking they deserve the big opportunity, the next big chance. If the market is so flooded with these people that we realistically are never going to be given the opportunity even once to practice our craft, then we have to create that opportunity for ourselves. So what I'm urging people to stay away from is the idea that they are not enough of an expert in any particular field to handle the responsibility of managing a production, managing their career, or whatever the case may be. What we have to do is turn that whole problem around on its head, accept that it's our responsibility, accept that the sales of our services are our responsibility, accept that the successful management of our productions, which includes, you know, in the case of dealing with investors, delivering a positive return on investment to those investors, accept that all of that is our responsibility and then learn how it works. Put the pieces together and fail until we learn how to succeed. Go ahead and accept that the first few times you put together a production, the first few times you try and sell your craft or whatever the case may be, that it's not going to go well. And then you start to see the problems that you're having and you start to go looking for tools that are going to solve those problems and you work those problems day in and day out and in a few years you are an expert. You have a lot more to offer the industry and you become the person who's doing all the work that nobody else wants to do. And in, in, in doing that, you become the person you need to solve your problems. You become the person you need to finance your movie. You become the person you need to produce your movie. You become the person you need to go ahead and sell yourself as an actor or a screenwriter, whatever the case may be. And not only are you there becoming the person that everybody else wants to do this for them, which frankly, you know, if you're anything like me, isn't going to serve you. I have, frankly, people asking me to finance their movies just about constantly, and the answer is always no. And callously, no. <laughs> no, of course I don't want to finance your movie. No, of course I don't want to produce your movie. Are, are you stupid? I'm producing my own movies. You should produce your movie. You know, that's, I, I, I literally, I get so frustrated with these people because I've gone and done the work of learning how to do these things so I can take care of myself. And I expect other people to do the same. And frankly, it drives me crazy when they don't. That's my personal pet peeve. But putting a positive spin on that, Hollywood doesn't need us to run around and tell people how good we're going to be <laughs> at writing and directing and acting when finally somebody gives us a chance. The entertainment industry doesn't need that from us. What the entertainment needs, for, the industry needs from us is excellent productions and, and excellent performances. And the only way to deliver that is by doing all the work that nobody else wants to do, get those productions and performances done. So, I don't know. That was a little bit more ranty than I thought it was going to be. We'll see how it goes. Um, and uh, thank you for tuning in. If you like our eight-sided blogs, give us a subscribe. Right down here, give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you, uh, if you like what I have to say today. And I'll be back next week with hopefully a more cogent blog. <laughs> I'm house-sitting. Being in a new environment definitely futzes with the with the brain injury, so I'm like I'm operating at about 78%. <laughs> but we got the blog done, and uh, and if you guys have questions, there's topics you want me to cover, leave it in the comments. We're in the process of putting together declassified, and in fact, we're crowdfunding just a little bit more money. So we'll put a link to the declassified crowdfund down here in the messages as well. Um, and, uh, and thank you all for listening. Drop me a line on Twitter at Tennyson Eastead, and we'll catch you next week with another eight-sided blog. Take good care. Bye-bye.